I was raised in the troubled teen industry. From a very young age, my parents worked in religious boarding schools throughout the U.S. These schools were marketed for struggling teens. In Tampa, Florida, we worked at a school called Faith Children's Home. In Stockton, Missouri, we worked at a school for all boys called Agape Boarding School. They now currently own and operate their own, and it's called Circle of Hope Girls Ranch and Boarding School in Humansville, Missouri. My parents raised my siblings and I on children are to be seen and not heard. So from a very young age, my siblings and I would be subjected to really, really bad spankings um, for the smallest of things, like being too loud in church, um, not during service, but after service when we would all congregate. If we were too loud, my dad would spank us um, for not smiling enough or smiling at a time that he deemed inappropriate. I remember my brother and I would go and put the most amounts of underwear that we could put on our under on our bottoms so it would hurt less. Um, when my dad caught into that, he then had us take our underwear off and he would spank us bare bottoms. He would use anything between um, his belt to a golf stick. Knock her out. Yes, sir. I mean it. Knock her out. Yes, sir. And that goes for any of the rest of you. If she clenches her fist or she's going to hit you, that's a threat. Knock her out. Yes, sir. You yes, got sir. that? Yes, sir. And are you being. When they opened Circle of Hope, I was 15, and they only had themselves. So they used myself as a staff member and I was um, then forced to use the same abusive techniques that I witnessed as a young child um, staff members do to boys at Agape boarding school. Um, <laughs> things like extreme workouts where you would put a girl in push-up position for hours um, or make them do as many push-ups as they could to where they were in so much pain and weak and crying. Um, they used a technique called restraining and that is where you force a child to the ground and you press all your pressure, all your weight on their pressure points. My dad said, um, I remember he um, restrained Rachel Kelso once and he picked her up and he slammed her to the ground and he called us all over there, myself and the higher up shirts and told us if we didn't put all of our weight on her pressure points till she was screaming loud enough, it would be our turn next. I am speaking out for all the kids that are currently going through this situation or something like this. I am speaking out because Rachel Kelso has spent 15 years within this boarding school setting. She deserves her freedom. She deserves to be happy. She deserves to be normal. She cannot control her emotions due to her mental disability and they cannot control her the way they want to control her. So she is subjected to horrible, horrible abuse and she does not deserve that for the rest of her life. My name is Amanda Householder, and I am Breaking Code Silence.